to come to school and, and practice and learn. Our school used to be called Lockwood, and um, Lockwood had a long history of failing its students and families. We're in a community that has historically been denied access to um, equitable educational opportunities. In the neighborhood, it used to have a lot of very violent things going on. We had, you know, drug dealing, we had everything you could think of. Parents used to be very aggressive with the teachers. Teachers just decided to not be here. They didn't feel safe, they didn't feel welcome. A little song for all the people who fight on. Since Futures became Futures, um, we've had some of the highest test score gains in the entire district. We have implemented programs teaching our students mindfulness, no one was left to guide having grants to provide a school garden and school garden instruction. Uh, we have an organic and pesticide-free farmer's market. And all these things combined have resulted in a huge amount of growth in only the four years that our school has been around. What we made is such a great part of our community our parents that I know, even before I became Law Futures, are so happy now and they just really want to focus on improving our futures even more and they're really grateful for what we have done. I'm very happy with the teachers of my children. They go, thanks to God, they go very well in the school and I know that it's because the teachers put Mucho empeño en, en enseñarles bien. The teachers who are at Futures now and are committed to staying at Futures are teachers who chose to be there and who chose to be there based on the school's theory of action which values the knowledge that students bring with them to the classroom, sees our students as culturally competent individuals who value themselves and each other. Our teachers really believe in the importance of building relationships with kids and with their families in order to create a foundation for their learning to take place. And all of those relationships would be cut short and dismantled by the layoffs that are on the table. of newer teachers or people like myself who this is actually my sixth year of teaching but it doesn't count because it wasn't in Oakland and so therefore our school is hit harder because all of all of us who are newer get wiped out. A estos maestros nosotros ya los conocemos, sabemos cómo trabajan y han ido elevando el nivel académico durante estos años. Son un equipo. Si los separan y traen otros, entonces sería otra vez agruparse y trabajar juntos, entonces eso siempre afecta, empezar de nuevo siempre afecta la educación de los hijos. The school has been, um, had been growing, you know, academically, you know, and I think the layoffs, you know, would just truly, you know, mess up, you know, the relationship with my daughter, well, with her teacher, as well as the other students, you know, with their teachers. As Lockwood, there were eight different principals in eight years and this year for the first year in a very long time we have had 100% of our teachers commit to being at Futures next year. It has to be about the kids. Mm -hmm. It's always about the kids. So you know, if you'd rather see them behind bars, you know, then do what you must, but if you want to see them succeed and open up their own businesses in the future, especially here in Oakland, then keep the school open. We have been studying Rosa Parks and my kids have been writing about what it means to be brave and what it means to stand up for themselves. So I told them today, 
what's going on. And some of my kids were like, I feel scared, and they started to get sad. And I said, no, this is our time to stand up. It's your right to get an education. It's your right to learn. All the teachers here love you. And I was like, Why, what do we want for you? And the kids were like, you want us to learn. You want us to know how to love each other. They were saying this to me. You want us to know how to make friends. And I said, all of us want that. And so we don't want to leave. So your job today is to go home and tell your families because together we can make a change. If they do have our layout, all our, it's just going to go back to what it used to be. A song for all the people who fight on in a world that doesn't see them till they're gone. Seen so many lonely people who fight on and just fight on. Somebody say it's time to turn the light on and look in the face of what we've become. Entiendo que el déficit del Estado uh -huh. es grande, eso, eso todo lo entendemos, ¿verdad? Pero también no, no se me hace justo que nuestros hijos sean los que son afectados. Uh -huh. Como padres, nosotros pagamos nuestros impuestos, entonces si van a hacer recortes, yo sugeriría que fuera lo más lejos de la educación.